Hello and welcome back to our continuing escapades in the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to tackle a SOC 111, which I believe is a another new alert added to the platform. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like it is entirely new. Okay. Traffic to a malware domain for event ID 46 for January 31st, 2021, for 15 p.m. Give it a quick overview. Uh, as per the normal procedure, I am going to open up notepad entry. I'm going to jot down what we have. So it looks like, a, again, with Richard's prod machine. And reaching out to a .NET address, and then pulling down network.exe. And so we have only that traffic. So we do have the traffic confirmed. Looks like must have opened up a poisoned Excel document to fire off Equation Editor, which then went out to the URL in question the image subfolder, and then pulled out network.exe. Taking a look, we do see Excel, and we do see Equation Editor having fired off. All right, so starting with the URL, it is... Well, let's just refresh it. So this does look like it's confirmed Remco Threat or NJ Rat. The URL itself has got 8 out of 83. Biggest players there would be Fortinet, ESIT, Kaspersky, Sophos, all detected as malware. Uh, running through URL Hoss. We see the same thing, confirmation for NJRAT and Remco's rat. And we don't get a so it's been down since February fourth. Huh, payload delivery. Excellent. So let's see, 101, and ends in CC04. Okay. So, as per the normal thing for uh, full-on URLs with uh, that point to a file. Underneath details for the VT, assuming that it's got it, the body SHA-256 hash is where... Grab that. Stick that in a virus total, and it generates the same exact thing as what we found underneath URL hoss. So this malware itself, granted 10 days old now, uh, running this on the 13th, but we do have confirmation from 48 out of 69 antivirus vendors that this is definitely bad sauce. So let's see, malware generic. Well, let's just, might as well just go ahead and refresh it and see what shakes out. Well, this is definitely bad stuff. And according to the info we have, the device action was allowed, so this sucker was allowed to go through and kick off. So I think we've got everything we need, so we'll go ahead and get this assigned to us. We're just going to go ahead and start with the playbook and see what shakes out. All right, source address is 172.161745. This is confirmed in the event itself, along with analysis inside of log management and endpoint management for Richard Prod. Destination URL is the full HTTP colon slash slash 
andaluciabeach.net slash image slash network.exe and the user agent is mozilla space dash space windows and that is from the event info itself we've already done a log search analyze the address oh yes it is most definitely malicious add the artifacts oh, I never thought you'd ask so let's see we're gonna need the MD5 of network.exe room goes rat we have the destination IP of 5.135.143.133 Domain IP We have the full-on URL as was asked previously And then what else do we have? Anything else? URL, MD5 it's not asking for the destination host name, so... Oh crap, I can't remove it. Well, if we just try putting in, like... Nope, okay. Hmm. Well, can you quickly find anything else? Something? Anything? Maybe? Possibly? Not so much. Well, then we may take a point hit for this because I can't remove anything. Or hopefully it'll be smart enough to realize that uh, nothing in there. There was access we confirmed by only this machine, but it's still access. It was not contained, but we will go ahead and request it now. And then, assuming this finishes, Richard Prod in quarantine. Check the box. It reloads. Oh, it didn't remove the email sender aspect. Okay, well, if that's the case, that's the case. Uh, this was a true positive, so the story we can tell is Mail doc cell fired equation editor slash DDE to pull from coast rat um. Just nuke and pave along with this word resets. Since we don't know exactly how much access might have been potentially given to Richard Prod, and given the fact that the previous exercise we ran through was the same workstation and the use of the juicy potato.exe for privilege escalation. Just gonna nuke this whole workstation and you know, better save than sorry, change all the passwords. Gonna really honk off the uh, end user, but better safe than sorry with this case. I go true. And traffic two. And it looks like we got full points. Yay! <laughs> okay, I will go through and as per the normal grab all the notes and put them in the video description um yeah there we go so i will see everybody in the next video